दिस इज अल्यूमैक्स टेन एम एम पी पी टी स्ट्रीट सोलर स्ट्रीट लाइट चार्ज कंट्रोलर टूडे आई एम यूजिंग दिस वन फॉर एज ए इनडोर लाइटिंग सिस्टम फॉर द टेस्ट दिस वन इज रिकमेंडेड वन हंड्रेड थर्टी वाट सोलर पैनल इनपुट आई एम यूजिंग द कार बैटरी चार्जर विच इज एक्ट लाइक अ सोलर पैनल इट्स अ मैक्सिमम आउटपुट इज अ वन थर्टी वाट बैटरी आई यूज लाइफ फोर ट्वेल्व वोल्ट ट्वेंटी For DC load, I am using this the 12 volt LED tube light which is connected with very long wires. It's everywhere in the kitchen, washroom, and outside as emergency. So here we have to test it. The ground is a common. This is our battery voltage, 12.8. One. This is the battery voltage right now. It's in charging mode. Okay. and this is the our charger which is input 15.21 volt okay on the load side this is the load okay 12.78 volt the load is connected this one so on the battery terminal while is charging we have a 12.81 volt and on the load side here we have a 12.79 code is have a too much resistance connected so this charge controller i think you can use it cool no hot very nice aluminum casing this is have a downside if you see the led indicating that mean is a boost charging or equalizing that is the voltage if it's a slow flashing it's mean it's uh, charging and this the orange one the battery connected normal if the red is on so there is a error short circuit overload or over temperature everything so this one have nice feature the temperature sensor here this one which should be connected to the back side of the casing so overall about this kind of controller if you want to use in your home like that dc lights this kind of wire so long right you can use it okay you just need what only one panel 100 watt you can connect input one battery like this this 24 ah like before last for 5 hours continuous on and for the load 55 watt if you connect it with the long wires no problem so this have a two models one this one have a bluetooth and with remote the difference if you see here wait huh? maximum panel voltage 45 okay 130 watt maximum okay about this one this model have bluetooth and same like that have remote control also the difference is that in between bluetooth and remote if you want to use outside for security or like mine inside any time you know you choose the bluetooth model because the bluetooth model you can constantly on it okay but with the remote control you you it will not uh, 24 hour on it will go off then you have to on it any time like when you want it so in the whole night all night the remote control model will not on okay but this one cause have a bluetooth this model so this one can be constantly on if you have outside security cameras okay and you don't want to off your outside light the outside light you want to keep it constantly on so i recommend you to choose the bluetooth model that was the lumix uh, 10 amp mppt charge controller super nice very good and the testing is done you can use it this one in as a indoor for emergency lighting instead to buy the other kind of charge controller i think this is okay or oh, one last important important very important point between battery and charge controller the wire length must be very short is much better if this one have 
on the top of the battery somewhere near and it stick top on the roof side nearest to the light like this lights coming it should be here the panel wire should be come from here because between battery and this is a small charge controller if the wires are really very long between battery and the charge controller so you will get the slow charging not too much fast so you have to use the battery closer but for the load no problem for load you can go for the long wires this time is on the long wires okay no lights no dim under 15 meter the lights not get dim okay the battery must be closer the load under 15 meter wires no problem and the solar panel if you have also 15 meter so no problem the single panel but if you have a more than height on this one so you better you use 50 50 watt to panel make it in series the maximum voltage will be 35 which is uh, under control of this MPPT charge controller which is 45 volt input so it's suitable so nothing will be get lost so this is working nice and perfect and I will share with you some screenshots also okay thank you you can use it this one it's cheap good perfect